y'all and welcome to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Today I'm sharing one of my favorite treats to make around the holidays. It's always a hit with my family and friends. It is a cookie wreath fruit pizza. So if you want to see how this delicious dessert comes together, stay tuned. So for the recipe, you are going to need some sugar cookie dough. Now you can make your own sugar cookie dough if you'd like to, but this is just easier for me. Um, I am using the break and bake at 16 ounces. And also if you wanted to use the tube, that's also 16 ounces. So either one will work. You're going to need some mint. You're gonna need some berries. So I am using strawberries and I'm using blackberries blueberries and raspberries. I have already cleaned and dried my berries. You're going to need powdered sugar, butter, and cream cheese. And as always, I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a 12 inch pie pan and what I'm going to do is put an oven safe bowl right in the center and that is going to form the hole for my wreath. And so now all I'm gonna do is place the cookie dough around the pizza pan and I am just going to press it evenly onto the pan. Okay, so I've got my cookie dough all spread out. It probably took me about five minutes to do so. When you're putting your cookie dough in the pizza pan, make sure that your bowl stays in the middle and make sure that you leave a little bit of wiggle room for your bowl so that when it comes out of the oven, it's easy to take your bowl out and you don't crack the wreath. Um, so I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and don't worry if your cookie's not perfect It's gonna spread out and cover up the edges and so forth. So it'll be fine It'll smooth out a little bit, but I'm gonna bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes now if you are making this um, to eat on the same day, I would probably cook it less probably more on the 15 minute side if like me, you're taking this someplace, it's gonna be in the refrigerator overnight, bake it for about 20 minutes till it's a little bit um, browner on top because when you put it in the fridge with the icing, it's gonna get softer. So just keep that in mind. So let's go to the oven. Okay, so I just took the cookie out of the oven and it baked for, I think it was 20 minutes. And so now what I wanna do is remove the bowl before the cookie gets hard and cause you don't wanna crack your wreath. So all I'm doing is just running a knife around the edge of that bowl to loosen it. And you're carefully going to remove it. And remember it's hot, so be really careful. I just have a clean towel here and I'm just gonna twist it and lift it. just like that. All right, so now I am just going to let this cool completely and then I'll show you what comes next. Okay, so my cookie has completely cooled. Now I'm going to work on the cream cheese icing. In my bowl, I have um, eight ounces of cream cheese softened and four tablespoons of unsalted butter softened. And I'm just gonna mix these together. And now I'm going to add in my powdered sugar a little at a time. Now, if you wanted to add in vanilla, of course you can. Uh, I'm not going to. So I added about half of my powdered sugar and then I'll add the rest. Okay, and this is what you want your icing to look like or your frosting. Okay, so I've got my cookie wreath here. It is completely cool, and all you're gonna do is just ice it. Okay, so I've got the cookie all iced. I do have some frosting left, maybe about a cup left. Um, and all I'm going to do is just decorate the wreath, however you want to decorate. Okay. 
Okay, so now it is time to decorate the wreath with mint. So you're just gonna strategically place the pieces of mint wherever you see fit. Now I will say, um, you know, mint is pretty strong, so I would wait until you're about ready to serve it to add the mint. Um, most people aren't gonna eat the mint and they don't want the flavor of mint in a cookie. Most people, not everyone, of course. Um, but I like to add it just before I'm going to serve it. And again, just place it right in there. Okay, so here is the finished cookie wreath. As you can see, it was a quick and easy dessert. It's one of my favorite things to make around the holidays. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. And I have a bunch of other quick and easy desserts on a playlist, and I will add that to the description box. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.